Hello everyone, I had 0386SX and you may remember this machine. This was one of the 10 computers that came with the Goodwill haul. This is the LTE 5300 that returned a bad memory module and it wouldn't turn on after it made that horrible beeping and whatnot. So, albeit offline, I did remove the memory module, which is right here. Uh, let's see if I can get any uh, information off of it. It is a 16 megabyte module, and it, you know, nothing looks corroded or anything on it. I did uh, take a look at the CMOS battery in addition to that, and there was no corrosion in that area whatsoever. So, let's see what we can come up with. Uh, <laughs> got to plug her in first, right? Of course, 5300, just for everybody's notes. It is powering up. And the diskette drive, I do not know if it actually works. I think it does. I'm using my potato LG G7 to record this, and for some reason it wants to turn a light on, so I apologize if there's any reflective things that... Oh. It doesn't sound particularly awesome, but... But, it booted from the floppy. Get it out of there. We probably need some lubricant. Remember, this did belong to Liebert at one point, and I know they get in some pretty uh, awful situations. Windows 98. Not bad. Eh, who gives a rip? <laughs> we'll be wiping these machines and I think there's a little bit of bad news in terms of uh, the battery I believe this is a lithium ion uh, yep unfortunately so rebuilding that might be out of the question unless we can reset it And it's telling me all oh, my stuff's been reset, which I come to expect. Well, it's, we're going to go back to a time I wasn't born yet. I'm actually kind of surprised that this machine booted up at all, because Windows 98 at minimum requires 16 megs of RAM. And you know, this looks like that this has a bare minimum install of Windows. And who knows, maybe this memory module just needed to be reseeded. Maybe the contacts need to be cleaned up a little bit. Maybe it's legitimately bad. I don't know. I do have 16 meg modules around here that I could use for testing purposes. And see what we come up with. And oh my god, they have active desktop enabled, don't you? Shame on you guys. Actually, I have nothing against Liebert. I deal with them at work and they've been very good to us so far so I can't really be mad at them. See what kind of hard drive it has in here. I don't remember what I said that it had. Yeah, I think we got a temperamental uh, Mouse, yeah, this is a 1.35 gig hard drive. It sounds awful Toshiba-like. Oh, it does have some programs on it. So we got Empire Interactive. 
I don't know what that is. Uh, we got Connect Quick Cam. So I wonder. Ah, quick movie. Who cares? And it's got a version of Office on it. Uh, probably 97 if I was a guessing person. And I don't know who Paul D. Hester is, but I promise you that we will re be wiping this machine very shortly, Mr. Hester. And it was never used. So I'm probably going to do a mem test on it regardless, just in case uh, there is any uh, underlying issues with the built-in memory on this thing. But it looks like that our 9 out of 10 Goodwill computers has been now upgraded to 10. So, that's a small victory in a very rough week. So, thank you for watching. I'm happy that this machine is back. So, as always, I know I didn't really go over anything that was educational, but... If you have any questions or comments or constructive criticism, feel free to leave them in the comments section as always. And thank you for watching as always.